Welcome back. New at 4 o'clock, a platform for veterans and active military members creates a space for those who have served and are currently serving. With the many disabled veterans in Colorado, they aim to provide vets with the mental health resources they need. Cardio News Channel 13's Jasmine Arenas brings us how they're doing that. My chest starts to pound uh, because my heart's beating so fast and hard. Uh, I get like a, a throbbing in my head. It's just kind of like not necessarily blinding, but you feel it. Fountain resident Elijah Simpson has been a disabled veteran since 2018. He served in the Army for four years and was stationed in Korea and Germany. I got like physical injuries that I have. You know, obviously uh, I suffer from like anxiety. I have ADHD. His struggles with anxiety and ADHD came shortly after joining the military. Elijah is exactly why the Veterans Network has created a platform so he and other veterans can get what they need. A lot of veterans, um, you know, they leave service and they're, they have this detachment. So when we go into service, right, it's this whole new thing. We don't understand it. And all of a sudden you're trained up. You learn how to do everything and then one day you're done. As a disabled veteran himself, Pineda understands the needs of this community. He's providing an online space for all those in need to be a voice for the voiceless, but even more so, he's helping that voiceless person be heard. So we have literally psychologists, psychiatrists uh, who are able to come in so I can have a conversation with a psychiatrist, a psychologist, talk about mental health, create that content that now hopefully gives someone the ability, you know, to watch that, to be able to be more informed, to go back to the VA, to ask those questions. Their platform is online and easy to access. Every week, they host Friday Night Live, a show featuring conversations about compassion and the military community. So by us creating content, putting information together, it's really about empowering the veteran to not only be part of our community, but to also be more informed. For more on how to get connected, head on over to our website, krdo.com. Reporting in Fountain, I'm Jasmine Arenas for KRDO News Channel 13.